What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. Of course, no Spider-Man No Way Home trailer today. There were several sources in the last month who were calling for the 25th as the exact date. Even industry insider Daniel Rickman, who originally had said November, had changed course recently because of Empire's reveals. Well, last, that's not to be. I'll link the video at the end of this and down in the description. My source here at the channel and a brand new one at that had been originally calling for the middle of November, well after Eternals had been in box offices for a week or two. Now we have a separate industry insider apparently corroborating that report and seconding it. We're going to break down what the new industry insider is saying, how that lines up with what we said about the second trailer, when we can expect it, as well as this new reveal from Tom Holland via Empire, one of the best scenes he's ever recorded, he said, with Aunt May, happy and a mystery character. Well, we sort of have an idea of who that mystery character could be. It's super exciting. We're going to break down the this mystery character scene in No Way Home that Tom Holland was talking about and tell you when the most likely date for the second trailer is. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content here at the channel and that's all we do. We're also still giving away a PlayStation 5 at 900,000 subscribers, which we will easily hit by the end of November. So if you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you to win all the giveaways. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so let's knock this trailer nonsense out out very fast. I've been telling you guys here at the channel for almost a month based on one of my sources here at the channel in a video I'll link at the end of this or down below that the second Spider-Man No Way Home trailer won't be coming till the middle of November. Now, I don't understand why some of these social media accounts that have been around for less than 90 days named stuff like the Spider-Man No Way Home news update channel can tweet out a date and everybody will latch onto it as if it's prophecy. I told you guys it wouldn't be the middle of November literally at the beginning of this month. We are still on pace for that, according to my source. Now, a separate source in Sean O'Connell over from Cinema Blend is saying the same thing about the trailer, that it's not even done yet and probably will not be attached to Eternals. More likely the case, it would be Ghostbusters Aftermath, which happens to be November 18th. Uh, two weeks into November and giving Eternals plenty of time at the box office to shine before the hype for Spider-Man No Way Home literally breaks the ceiling and considering we haven't seen a poster yet, we're expecting some huge reveals during that trailer. So guys, keep your hopes up for the middle of November, but stop latching onto dates from accounts that haven't been around. Literally, there are some really good sources who have been in this industry for three, four years now, reaching all the way back to Infinity War. They have track records, try to follow them, and not brand new accounts on Twitter that say a date that literally have been around since last month. Now, yesterday we dropped an exclusive about Paula Newsom's character, who she's playing, and how that relates to details in the plot for Spider-Man No Way Home. If you missed that video, it will be linked at the end of this. Now we're getting an update from Empire Magazine under the headline, Spider-Man No Way Home saw Tom Holland film one of his, quote, coolest scenes ever with mystery character exclusive and they go on to report, quote, but in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home, the actor tells Empire that he filmed, quote, one of the coolest scenes I've ever shot, a sequence including a character he wasn't at liberty to divulge. They go on to report what he could say in the scene is that it features Peter Parker, Marissa Tormé's Aunt May, and John Favreau's Happy Hogan, alongside a mystery fourth character, quote, it's four people sitting at a table, having a conversation about what it's like to be a superhero, and it was amazing, Holland tells Empire. The other day we watched the scene, my brother and I, and our jaws were on the floor. Cue all the speculation about who that fourth character belongs to, and they go on to talk about it, but obviously, and what would be the biggest reveal, is if it was Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker, when the context of the conversation seems to be what it's like to be a superhero, knowing that Aunt May and John Favreau are not superheroes, however, one degree of separation, right? Happy being separated by one degree, direct best friends with Tony Stark, Marissa Torme, uh's Aunt May being the aunt to Spider-Man, right? So they're like the adjacent superhero sidekick that's not the actual sidekick like Robin, but more like a guy in the chair like Ned. Like they're there, they have seen everything firsthand, firsthand account, been there for all parts of it, just not taking places in the battle. So to balance out that conversation, if you've got two of those type of sidekicks and one Spider-Man, having another Spider-Man or superhero sitting at the table would be able to offer a perspective closer to Tom Holland's and offer more sort of stuff to go off and joke. Of course, the dichotomy of being from two different parts of the multiverse, they would have different experiences. Now, I think it's also important to point out that if they are just sitting at a table having a conversation that they're not watching any sort of VFX sequence, this isn't a special effects or an action shot. And so the fact that both Tom Holland's and his brother's jaw were on the floor means that something about that scene was just 
shocking. And having two Spider-Men, either Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire, sitting side by side with uh, Tom Holland's Peter Parker and his Aunt May and Happy Hogan, to have that play out, not only does it just sound like the biggest fan service ever and an amazing scene, but that is something that would shock even Tom Holland and his brother. And of course, after the all wears off of, you know, realizing there's multiple variants of Peter Parker in the same room, they would want to get to know each other and start seeing their similarities and their differences, which there are many. Um, and, you know, look, I think it's pretty obvious this is what this is. Maybe it's another huge Avenger cameo, but whomever is sitting in that room, is definitely another superhero, I said, to, to balance out this sort of talk about what it means to be a superhero. While Aunt May and Happy Hogan have very special perspective on this, they are not actually involved in the action or bearing the weight of being a superhero. Tom Holland's Peter Parker is. Another Peter Parker in that room, again, would balance out that conversation. Unbelievable. Man, It. I'm so hyped for this film. I, I really thought at some point the fatigue was going to kick in. I was going to get sick and tired of talking about it. Spider-Man always was going to turn into Spider-Man Annoyed, but it, it, as it turns out, I'm only more excited for this, and um, you know, I'm sure you guys are too. So listen, in anticipation for this second trailer, I've got an Internals uh, review coming out later today. Absolutely no spoilers, but I have some very important things to say about the film, some things that I'm not hearing anybody else say in their reviews, and some things that I think are really going to help you guys as viewers, not all of you, but some of you really be able to... Uh, watch this video more informed, watch the film more informed, and maybe find some deeper meaning and appreciation that are hidden in parts of the film that I would like to illuminate, again with no spoilers, just a primer for how The Eternals works very differently than other Marvel films and the realistic cinema that we've seen the MCU incorporate. I think a lot of you guys are really gonna enjoy that video that's coming out later today. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5. The next one is at 900,000 subscribers before we switch up the giveaways on the way to a million. We're also giving away weekly Disney Plus subscriptions when the shows are live. That'll resume with Hawkeye at the end of November, as well as tickets to go see Eternals all week long when the film comes out. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Doing so will enter you for all the future giveaways. The best way to keep up with the content is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, all under the name All Fires. I sincerely appreciate you checking that out. Thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.